Hello, my name is Holly from My Daily Hate here on YouTube and Instagram. I'm here to talk to you about my cross stitch. Um, today is April 19th, 2023. It's floss tube 28. Um, it, let's just start talking about the cross stitch. The first one I'll be showing you is QS Falling Snow. That, oops, it's a different position that I'm looking at. Um, this is QS Falling Snow from uh, Alan Giano, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, it is uh, being stitched on 25 count uh, Lugano, one over one full cross. And this is currently at 55.33%. I was working in a key snap and I couldn't reach the very bottom of the bottom of the column there. I was going to go back up and stitch from the top of the uh, the next column and work down. So I was because I was being lazy and didn't want to have to move the key snap. But now that I've moved the key snap to show you guys, I'll just work the bottom and and then start it again at the top and not be lazy. <laughs> which is fine um then the next thing i'll show you is i've been doing uh this is santa and animals by charting creations this is uh now current uh it's i was being stitched on 22 count hard anger and the artwork is from dakota detweiler and I think I told you that there's charting creations is the, and everything's all falling down. I have reached the grand total of 1.06 and I'm just got past the first half of the column. Um, so I still have a way to go. Yesterday when I was stitching, I, I went past the halfway point on that column. So I'm, because I've been cross country and in the column down further down i've reached a lot further down but uh, i remember clearly being uh, thinking wow it's only 1.06 percent and i'm not used to doing such for me such big projects um lindsay has gone great guns on it hers looks absolutely stunning um and I will try to, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that she will start showing hers on Instagram because it's absolutely beautiful. And she's she's done, she's done the, like the corner of it in the same area. We started pretty much the same area, but she's kind of gone in diagonals and cross country as well. And hers is so 3D. It's absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to when my my corner looks as beautiful as hers um but that's the 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 colors are really me i love aquas and teals blue you know the blues I, lots of different colors but these are my ones that i just i'm really 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 keen on so that's great the next one i'll be talking to you about was a uh, mini evening And the Santa's chart, Santa and animals is being done one over one full cross on the hard deck, 22 count hard anger. Anyway, this is mini evening. And these colors are just so glorious. I'm really enjoying stitching this. Um, such vibrant jewel tones and I do enjoy the jewel tones. And it's got just enough mixture between um blocks of color and confetti so that you don't feel too overwhelmed by them uh also what worked on number 12 which is this one here i i numbered them uh, yeah i numbered them myself so i could keep track of them but this is number 12 i call it hearts and heart and roses um 
and I've got a lot done. I just, uh, yeah, I, I got in the mood for to, to do the backstitch, so I just went through and did the backstitch, and the uh, yeah worked on it, and it's it's the roses that are the most aggravating part to do on this. I've done all the back. I've I've done all the the um, French knots as well, because um, they had some up here and they just went. So I just went ahead and put them all in. Um, so I've just got this one last bit of. Let's see. You can see. Oops. You just. I've got that one last bit of roses to do, and then I can move on. I don't know if I want to move on to the cat or not. Um, I might, but I probably wouldn't keep it for my own tree. I would probably send it to someone who's, um, I know who's really super love, you know, who loves cats or send it to her little girl for Christmas this next year. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, because of things that have been going on lately, I, um, yeah, I, I've had plenty of time I've had plenty of time to, to do um, knitting on socks so I've completed another pair of socks I messed up on the heel of one of them so I just bashed myself in the eye. <laughs> anyway yeah I messed up on that heel I was trying a new a new graph a grafting technique called a Finchley graph uh, Roxanne Richardson is the one who's doing it I did a three try to do a three nine needle bind off on this one and it's 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 okay um i'm not a fan fan of the kitchener and that's why i normally choose to just do um a heel that's continuous so i don't so i don't have to but because i was i was knitting in a place where i couldn't really concentrate mentally or or due to distractions I just knit these socks in um, at two at a time on Magic Loop. I just knit these socks continuously. And then once I got to like an inch above where I normally um, put my heel in, I just started doing the cuff. Okay. Um, all right. The Just a quick life update. Um, over Easter weekend, my my husband, who's just recovering from my surgery, um, he he ended up in uh, Easter weekend. We ended up in the emergency room because he had his eyesight deteriorate in one eye um, due to a side effect of a medication that he was on after the surgery, interacting with a pre-existing condition. Um, so he can't currently do his job. He'd just gone back to work and I was running around trying to get things organized. Um, he'd just gone back to work um, on light duties, um, light hours uh, for like a week and a half uh, when this happened. So he's back off work now. Um, <clears throat> we don't wait. Yeah, it, he's got he's got a lot of... Um, point well he's got he's he's waiting for some treatment um it always takes time on the nhs to get treatment um so we're waiting on that so he's he's back off work again which is driving him nuts he was all excited about going back to work but anyway due to the three uh emergency visits that we had over that weekend i got a lot of i've got <laughs> i got a lot of um of of knitting done and um because it's kind of thrown in for a loop it's, it's been um, a bit more intense in being being supportive for him um but he's he's perked up and uh he's like i said he's he's finding things that he wants to do around the house so that he can hopefully and then we just have to reevaluate because if this continue if it may his eyesight and that I may never get back to where he can do his, his job so he'll have to retrain but life is a journey and sometimes you have to take a different path but it's, it, it, we're very blessed it could have been a lot worse um besides that 
life is pretty hectic. My son and his fiance are coming in at the end of next week, which we're looking forward to. Super, super excited. Um, they'll be in and out of the country over the over the, the next few months. So instead of not seeing them for yeah, only see yeah, not seeing them for nine months. We'll see them quite frequently over the summer, which would be wonderful. And um we've got a family wedding in uh in Portugal in September, so we'll we'll be spending time with them there as well. Uh well it's not their wedding, it's an, another family member's wedding in Portugal. So uh I've got a a trip in my future. <laughs> Person who doesn't who's not very cute well. Uh, so, but it will be lovely. It'll be lovely. We've we've been planning that as well. So lots of lots of things. Uh, I still don't know if I'll be back anytime uh, regularly, anytime soon. Various due to the various things happening. Um, it's a bit. It's it's the it's the way things are. Yeah, you know, we don't know when the next appointment will be. We don't know when. Um, anyway, it's, uh, everything's topsy-turvy at the moment. Oh, and I was going to say, <laughs> on the Santa and animals, Mama Carmen too on Instagram said, oh, yeah, how much further? You're almost done with that column. And I was like, no, I just reached the middle point. <laughs> Bless her. Mama Carmen's lovely. Absolutely. This one of the sweetest women. And, um. I wish I'm wishing you all a fabulous week. I hope you get plenty of stitching time and uh, that you enjoy the season that you're in. For here it's spring. Um, there's loads of little lambs and, and calves in the in the fields right now. Um, you're driving down the road and you see these little lambs with little tails wiggling. And they're, they're nursing from their mother and the cattle and the lambs are bouncing around. You, some, you see them, you can always tell which ones are new, which are when, which ones are a little bit more older because they become more adventurous as they get a little bit older, just like toddlers do. So it's really sweet. But anyway, enjoy the season and have a brilliant day.